Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited to set up my 2020 brand new bullet journal. Every year, a new journal manifests the fresh start energy and it makes me feel that there is something good ahead I've been waiting for. This year, I'm choosing the one in salmon color. And here are some supplies I will be using in this video. Same as the past few years, I've been recommend this paper idea started journal and this has been my third one. Same as last year, I create a grid spacing rule for my commonly used spacing and division that has been inspired by this content creator bulletproof journal which I'll put the link in the description box below. This hack is really time saving as I don't have to do the counting over and over again. I know there are a lot of videos out there showing the grid spacing cheat sheet which the concept is pretty much the same. But I found that the strip is easier to move around plus no counting needed. The vertical for rows and the horizontal for columns. I start off the first page of my journal with keys and abbreviations. These are the five keys that are normally used Task Complete, Delay, Bradford, and Notes. Well, for the abbreviations, the alphabet represents the budget I want to track monthly. I know it sounds crazy, but this is going to be my 6 years of bullet journaling. I've been doing it since April 2017 while I was in university. Until now, I still can remember those times when I was filming videos in the library. Next up, I set a page for my 2021 review. Before even starting to think about my New Year's resolution, I had to refresh myself on what I've done in 2021. After writing out the header, I made three sections which are the best moment of 2021, the biggest achievements of the year, and the thing I wasn't able to accomplish and why. The page right next to it is my 2022 goal page. On top of the page, I'll write down how I want my 2022 to look like. While on the bottom of it, I split it up into several categories. I have one for my health goals career, financial, time management, relationships, and skills. These are the fields I would like to set a goals to improve and have done better in 2022. Moving on to the next part, highlights of the days in 2022.
I've been using this bread since 2019 and I can jot down moments to cherish, to be grateful for, and it is like my mini diaries pages. Next up is my learning and study log. I've prepared 12 boxes for each day's study team while the left side space is a wish list for courses to have. Next, on the left page, I sketch out a monthly budget pie chart. This pie chart will help to visualize and sorting out those expenses into needs and wants. The right page next to it, I set up my expenses tracker for 2022. Keeping a financial tracker bullet journal spread is an easy and effective way to keep track of my finances and stay on budget. Having all things to do with money in one easy to find sport make it simpler to know exactly what my incoming and outgoings are. Same as this year which is 2021, I decided to move monthly expenses tracker into front. This will give me a better view of how's the budgeting in 2022. You can keep a spending tracker for a week, a month, or create a spending log bullet journal that you can keep long term. Some of the main things that you may want to keep track of are spending, saving, expenses, and debts. You can customize your Bujo financial spread to make them work perfectly for you. Have you ever been given a book recommendations and forgotten the title 5 minutes later? A bunch of ideas for books to read but couldn't remember any when you actually had time to read? I've always keep a running list of other books I've read this year. I like to include the title, author, how I read the book, and the date I finished it. On Notion, I actually have a list of books I've read where I can output and input the ideas and review. So for this spread, I will just jot down the title and authors of the books I've read. I also color code the book journal that I normally read, which are self-help, fiction, and psychology. Moving on to the next spread, called When Did I Last? This is a simple log to keep track of the last time you updated something. This method can be helpful for the things that are updated on a less frequent basis. For example, you can try to write down tasks like hair chopping, change bed sheets, or organize pantry. Then, fill in the date you accomplish each task below it. This way, it is very easy to glance at the log and see when the last time you did each thing was. I designed this movie list to track the movies and shows I have watched. It's very interesting to look back at the movies I've watched over the year and I can always jot down the movie wish list in a particular columns of months. This year, I'm not include any of my social media content and projects inside my bullet journal 
as I realized I always need a more flexible pages and bigger space for me to do all kind of brainstorming and plan my content. Therefore, I purchased a cute weekly planner from Typo with bubble jacket cover. Each month had started with a big calendar which is easier for me to plan my content. Of course, this planner is just for my project, while the bullet journal is basically for my personal life. So here's the flip through of my 2022 bullet journal setup. I really love how the spreads turn out and how simple and spacious to hold everything in and wrap it logging. It is always flexible and okay for me to add in spreads halfway through using this blood journal whenever I need it. Hopefully this video can be a little inspiration for all of you out there who want to start bullet journaling or even for those who have been journaled for a while. Lastly, I just want to say thank you for those who have been following my journey of bullet journaling throughout these 6 years. It is no doubt that bullet journaling has helped me to develop system and structure to stick with good habits and making changes in my life. Sending you guys love and wishes and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!